Don't stop praying until you get result. Tell your neighbor, say, don't stop praying until you get result. That's what prayer is all about. There are people who pray one day and the result comes. There are people who pray two times out two days and result come. A woman was believing for something. I think it was issue of marriage or childbirth. She give, giving and giving and thing, praying and praying at the time she decided not to give up. She did seven days, seven days. Inside that seven days, three days right, and the end the other one, six to six. For seven times, so each time she finished, she go to altar, put a sacrifice. After waiting for two weeks, no, it was, she started again. According to her, she did that seven times before the result showed up. Every stubborn situation requires stubborn faith and stubborn prayer. There are some sickness that take a man to admission and there are some sickness, even though you go to hospital and say, take tablet, go home. Two of us. Even at times, there are some sickness, you even believe, say, you go, go home. Doctor will tell you, say, this one's serious. You go sleep here. So, all I want you to do is that you must understand, don't pray as you used to pray. You must always increase the level of your prayer, the strength of your prayer, when it comes to prayer. Because the power that is holding what you are looking for can never allow you to get it in a hurry. You must get that in your clear. Tell your neighbor, don't stop praying pray. until you get results. Result. Jacob said, I will never let you go unless you bless me. This is another August. Other years, you have heard people's testimony. You must tell yourself, this year, somebody must share from my own testimony. My testimony must produce somebody's testimony. The, I, I'm telling you, at times, somebody's healing can also, you know, testimony can motivate another person's healing. During the pastor's meeting, I preached to the, in the second day and I told him, I said, it's not just about preaching, we're going to do the practical part of what we preach. Because most times we preach the gospel, we preach the gospel, God will do and we go do about, do we have any proof regarding to that to which we preach? So the second day I told him, I said, today we are preaching and doing the practical part of it. So at the time, I had to begin to do ministration. And I called out the man, the Lord showed me that he had been having severe pain at the center bone at the back. And I asked him, I said, how long? He said, for two years. He's a pastor. And I laid hand on him. And I told him, I said, as this man wake up, he's taking healing now. Confirm healing. And he slept up for over three minutes before yeah, or even close to five minutes, if I'm not mistaken, before they, brought, they raised him up. I said, okay, check yourself. He tried to turn the way. Normally, he couldn't turn before. And he couldn't find the pain. And healing came. Now, while he was sharing, trying to confirm that to the eyes of everybody, the power of God hit somebody at the back this way. Another pastor. And that one failed and woke up and said, he was also having serious pain at the waist for long that why that one was sharing that testimony say lord i am also here you can hear me and the power hit him there and he was also healed and this august don't come like the way you used to come take god i can confirm i will, not i can i will confirm my baby this month that which my family is looking for the answer is now even though I have gave before, it didn't work, this one will work. If I have prayed, it didn't work before, this one, it must work. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 1. 1 Kings 17 verse 1. We are going to run with our time faster than yesterday. 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 1. Media, can we go? And Elijah the Tishabite, who was of the inhabitant of Gilead, said unto Ahab, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain this year, but according to my word. Now, take note today. He didn't say, Thus says the Lord. He said, According to my word. 
The difference between that, according to my word, and thus says the Lord. God is not the one talking. I'm the one talking. When you know who you are in Christ, you can command. You will speak, and it will come to pass. That's why when Jesus when he said to his disciples, he said, greater things than this shall you also do. It's not just about me. Everybody can do it. Are you hear what I'm saying? And believe me, take, I want you to get provoked and know that that family, God can use you to change that family. Yeah. Elijah didn't say, thus says the Lord. He said, by my word. As I said, that so it will be. Now I challenge you. James 5 was is it 17 he said elijah is a man like us who prayed and there was no rain and he prayed again he, he look at it. elias was a man subject to like a like passion as we are and he prayed endlessly 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 that it might not rain and he rained not on the earth by the space of three years and what six months he shut the heaven Hear me, wickedness is still growing in your family because you have never known your stand. Men are still tormenting you because you carry Bible like notebook. Until the day you wake up and know that you are the staff of authority in that family, you can declare and decide what happened. Now, it's not about what you say. If your need cannot carry what you say, you are making noise. If you cannot pray out what to declare, my dear, you are making noise, you are wasting time. The strength of every great man is not by their voice, it's on their knees. And if there is a man to pray, endlessly, endlessly, there's another prayer in that James chapter 5. He said, The fervent prayer of a righteous man has valid much. Fervent, endlessly. So don't just talk to heaven. It's not everybody that knows how to touch heaven. Whether in giving in prayer. A man who never have an encounter with God will tell you there is no God. I was looking at something the other day. The book of Psalm chapter 53 verse 1. Yes. Psalm 53 verse 1. Media can we have it? He said the fool has said in his heart there is no God. Korot Ade. And have done abominable iniquity. There is none that do it good. So that's why you see people tell you, say there's no God because they're already fools. So don't join the company of fools. Some tell you, say, which is the good church? These are the fool Bible tell you. Because any man who said there is no God, my dear, Bible says he's a fool. Because he said the fool say in his heart, that, but every child of God that is wise, know that God is his. And Hebrew 8, 8, chapter 8, he said it's the same yesterday, today, and for, he never changed. Some God change. My God do never change. Some God change. My God do never change. The same yesterday, today, and forever. Some God change. My God. Who never changed. He's still that same God. In the time of Elijah. That same God. Merciful. Ever present help. In time of trouble. But the problem is that. We are sleeping in Zion. We carry Bible but we don't understand. The strength of this Bible is not. When you read. Until you study and understand the revelation. The letter can keep. It's only the rhema that kept, gives life. So hear me. You can conquer that battle. Yeah, pastor, don't pray. You never pray, no, my dear. Wake up. Elijah prayed. Now, do you know when Elijah said, no rain, already heaven have already locked up. And the Bible said for three years and six months, there was no rain. At the early stage, nobody believed, but when it, one year passed, that rain didn't touch the Second year, Ahab said to him and said, now you be our trouble. Now hear me, there are people in that family where you come from, they will never believe you until they see such a sign. Or to tell them in this, because you didn't do this, you will see this. If they see them two times, 
When they talk, everybody will keep quiet. But if you talk and nothing happens, they say, nobody has seen the talk. And it's better you don't talk if you cannot perform it. It's not about what you say if you cannot need down until it happens. My dear, don't talk about it. But I tell you, there's a way to move the hand of God. Those who easily give up in giving, those who easily give up in prayer, those who easily give up in the word of God, they don't move heaven. The same yesterday, today and forever, so God change, my God who never changed. I went to see a woman one particular day. And I prayed, I prayed, I called the person who is there. I said, God is about to perform surgery. And I was invited to pray for her. I never knew what was a sickness. This woman happened to be pregnant. I never knew that she is a, she had tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. And the tuberculosis had killed the baby in the womb. The husband didn't know. And the thing was so severe, the man don't have money to admit the woman. Not even have money because I think at last the man told me that one of the days he took the woman to hospital, they rejected her. And me, I didn't know. They call you, come pray. And I pray, I pray, I pray. I say, Lord God is about to perform surgery. I say, bring bucket. I say, Lord, I'm going to pray. Whatever you are carrying in your system that want to kill you in a hurry is coming out of your mouth. The woman was looking at me. At that time, she was already breathing. And when I pray, I pray, I rest God. So, Tobaraya Mama, Tobaraya Mama, say ya no mela, say ya o mela. He say Jesus, Tobaraya Mama, say ya o mela. Hakacho wa say ya no mela, say ya no mela, say ya no mela. He say le, say ya o mela. He say Jesus, Tobaraya Mama. See ya, no mela. Aya, he's still God. No matter how shattered and battered is your life and your condition, he's still ever present help in time of trouble. And while we are singing and praying, the woman vomited. What she threw up was. <laughs> It, it, it may fill up this little bucket here. But do you know what happened? That was when I knew that the case I came to handle was a serious one. When she vomited, I have, imagine we are, I, I'm telling you the truth, I have to run out of that room. The kind of order that feed the whole house. I, could, I didn't conclude the prayer, I was outside singing the remaining. vomited sweat covered her that breathing dropped a woman who's the husband locked door thinking that before he come back from shop she go down die the man came back saw her fetching water we do you know what happened when the husband saw her with jerry can of water because they are living in a general house the man was doing like this he asked the husband which one is like this the man carries him for ground. This is somebody that was rejected in hospital last week. And the man said before he left that day, in the night, the woman almost died. So he believes said before he will come back. You know what? You know the kind of work the man does? He's a wheelbarrow pusher. Nobody living with him. It was the fellow woman who know of their family, who know that that one was sick that brought me. When we got there, the door was locked down a little bit. But I, no, the man said when he came, he didn't. He, he, he touched the door. Noticed that everywhere had been arranged and cleaned. So he, he said he was inside the little one. By then, the woman went it was still where she went to fetch water. So he said he said was inside, thinking that the woman had died. The family member came and carried the corpse to mortuary, clean up the house. But he said it was like, why they no come you and look for her, him? Because he said most of his family village people from Enugu, they know the particular place where himself they walk. He said, how they go, this woman go just die. They carry and come out, clean the whole place, lock the door, like, lower the door like this. So, after 
start thinking that from inside the room and came out. Make it ask people in the yard. What happened? He now saw the woman with blue jerry can. Now he begin to do like this. And finally, the woman said, Help me carry water, come down. He said, You, when did you fetch water last? In a memory, the decay woe, she ne can make a lay. Oh, memory, the decay woe, she ne can make a lay. When he told him that the mama so person brought somebody to come and help me, that the person prayed for me and I got healed immediately. The man said, Who be that? The woman, that woman now who prayed for happened to be in victory. The woman that brought me for prayer was, was living at Abontai. You know where, where is Abontai? The woman told me, he said, the man came to his house barefooted. You know where sleeper? The man. He ran from house, leave shoe. May go ask him, who you bring? Come. How did they happen? Imagine anything and say, he's my pastor. I believe him more. And that's why I brought him and God did miracle. How is she? He says, he's, the man said, I know believe me that could be. So the son of it, he and the man came to see me and said, the man now told me that she had been pregnant. Man, they, they, they told him that the baby had died in the womb. And even the doctor, he went to, even begged them for operation, even though you know game money, making rich the family members. The doctor said he cannot handle the matter. He said, please, as you have prayed, this man, is, this woman is strong for two days. Pray, may the picking come out. He, that's to say, pastor, you never finish the prayer. He remember one <laughs> I said, okay, don't worry, go to hospital. I pray for her. I said, take her back. He said, they go, take, they go with that media. I said, if they refuse, go to maternity. And when he got there, they said, okay, let's try. And the baby came out, but already condemned. There are some miracles I've seen in my life at times. If you are saying it, it will be very difficult for somebody to believe it. And that was the, her first child. I pray for every, every woman here. Your blessing will not take your life. That which is supposed to make you happy, the enemy will not turn it into sorrow. Amen. Let me hear your amen like thunder. Amen. But they can't on the lulong. He be a rana putam. We make kangu sorrow. Never deal with you. Never deal with you. He go see him. Oh, he goes But cannot long. He be a napotam. We may Never Never He goes he goes Hear me. Don't kill yourself because of what you are seeing today. Every problem has an expiring date. That problem started one day. My dear, it will still end one day. Stand your ground. As you confess positive word, be on your knees. Don't give up. You pray, it never happen. Keep praying. Because see one, one error in our generation. When people ask us the thing doesn't happen, they give up. They are no more asking. No. Real believers who don't give up, who don't allow the devil to win. Right from the days of John the Baptist, till now, the kingdom is still suffering by only the violent. Take it by force. By force. By force, no be by gentle. So if you never collect it, be more aggressive, be more, more, more. Yeah, yeah. But they cannot no lose long. He be a na potam. We me can go sorrow. Never deal with oh. Never deal with oh. He go see him. Oh, be a better. Me na. How? 
He's still God. We make angu sorrow. Never tell you Never tell you He got sin in. Oh, yeah, man. Man, I think he got sin in. Oh, yeah, man. So don't kill yourself. Even if they have mocked you, if men have not mocked you, they will not celebrate you. If there is no night, you will never say good morning. Stretch your right hand. You watching me, they are joyful with you. Whatever holding your testimony, as you rise up, Roma, amen, like thunder, let that chain break. Whatever that is holding your family glory, holding what you are looking for, as you thunder, amen, three times, may delay be over. See that. Let me show you something briefly. Briefly, then we'll start praying. In chapter 18, from verse 41. Wait, stand up. I heard something in my speech. Shouting, My father, my maker. Any altar that forbid me to testify. Any man or woman that is against my testimony. As I begin to pray, I command it to expire. Pray. Any altar, any human being. That forbid your testimony. Jesus name we pray no hear me this prayer is important at this junction some of you what you are asking for you will be surprised there is somebody at your back he think and said he no go happen they say not like this you go remain something happened recently can I shock you Somebody told me, I know say it was out of anger, but that thing was a message to me. He said it out of anger, but I know it was a message to me. Somebody was telling me, he said, he said, I heard that you told such a person why she never feel conceived. Say na person, hold on. He said, Pastor, no be lie. He said, I hit ground. Say no go conceive. I didn't say they told me. She told me that. He said, you tell and say a woman. I hear say you tell and say a woman. He said, for even mention my name, self. You know lie, join. Now make me grand. You know, go hear cry. Oh, baby. Are you there with me? Shout the Father. In the name of Jesus. Whoever that is holding what I'm looking for. As I begin to pray. I break your power. I scatter your mission. Hold us so baby, Lord. Carry your Lord. Pray. Whoever that said, you never stop at it. You never delay it. Where is the Lord God of Rema? Where is the Lord God of Rema? 
Where did that God answer my prayer? In Jesus' name we pray. Now there are some families. Mama born five, six, seven. Year to year. Everybody be like, cut flower where they cut. Who get problem of 5,000? Nobody can help each other. Now look at the prayer you are going to pray. Whoever that is happy that my family is not progressing. Whoever that is happy that things are not working well. Now wait. Do you know there are people they are happy to hear that things are too well. In fact, things are getting out of hand. They'll be happy because that's what they wish you. But hear me. If men wish you failure and you are a failure, they have become God over you. Did you hear what I said? If men decide that you be a failure and yet you are a failure, I tell you they are God over your soul. But me, it cannot happen. Shout the Father. Whoever that is happy over my problem, whoever that is happy over my the challenge in my family, my Father, as I begin to pray, whatever they are using, to come by us. Pray, pray, pray. Oh, yeah, pray. and a daughter. They all married, no children. What provoked their family that year? Why they came to me? At the time, now let me tell you this. The two young men, they are multi-millionaire. But they don't have children. Their only sister who lives here, no child, eight years, seven to eight years. The mama said the Christmas before that one, the son came back, two of them came back with heavy cars. He said, most of the neighbor will follow women where they come. Who he call? Say, my son bought a uh, bike. He brought something. Then they collect it. So I'm saying, I saw some motor that they buy. House everywhere. The mama said, after that Christmas, he won the children. See, if I never born, nobody should buy a house, buy a car again. But do you know where they think God hurt? The mama said one of the fellow women, the daughter-in-law gave birth, and they were there to celebrate with her. He hear somebody for a back. They thought, hey, that one where they dance out there. Where did they go? Dance for her house. No, the only dance of can and house. They were rumoring and said the children used what they could have used to have children to make money. He will papa mwere. Be calling no man, ya. He will mama mo. Be catch up on me. You know one thing that you don't want thing about this life. If you get problem, people will tell you what is the problem. No, how did they get their information? You still to get. They will tell you how you take it up. 
So that year, who we went to that house, we cried. I saw the old woman kneel down and cry. I said, Mama, stand up. He said, Tell your God. He said, If, if nothing happened, I have told my children I will not last more, more than this. I said, Mama, no, you carry their children. And we prayed that night. The Lord opened my eyes, showed me two, three things. Now, the same people where they talk, now then hold the thing. Because this woman suffered so much to raise those children. The husband died so early. The, even the son said, Mama, now he hawk inside market to take care of the children. Now, money don't come. The enemy follow another direction. And they make genuine money. Their pharmacies, they produce drugs. Most of the, the, their product in this nation is much. They have money. People say, hey, they don't exchange children for wealth. I don't know the one you heard for yourself. Now, the one where you hear yourself, you could talk. There are so many things about you you don't know. But hear me. My prayer is that whatever they have mocked you for, may God give you surprise. We want to pray one prayer before you sit down. Please stand. And that year we prayed. After, as I was living, those young men, they gave me offering. A dangerous one. He said, please don't stop praying for us until you hear our testimony. Do you know, December, they will borrow children from their cousins. Because they say, hey, they, they build big house, children, not they stay inside. December, they will go rent children. Because I saw about five kids there. I think the highest I saw among that age should be between 10, 8, 5. I said, but these children, where they here? He said, they, he said no. He said, they, they go, they are, now the mama's side, the brothers, collect their children. December, like that, after they finish school, they will carry them, go to buy, do shopping for them, bring them back so that they can follow them come Christmas. After Christmas, they will go back to their family just to warm the house. Chai, they didn't touch me. I said, so all these children here now from He said, that is how, what we do. And those children now, every December, they are waiting for uncle to call them. As they finish school, they will take them to Dubai, buy them everything they need, then bring them back. He said, guys, we don't have children. Let's be easy. Let's see, be like this. So after we finish, but God is a miracle worker. That year, two conceived. The second son, wife conceived, and the daughter. The daughter gave birth and gave birth to twins. But a boy and a girl. But and, and today, three of them have children. Now you're going to pray. Anywhere they bury what they are using to control your life. Anywhere they bury, whether in your papa house, shall my father, my maker. Anywhere they bury my happiness. Whatever they used to bury it. As I begin to pray, you evil Lord, receive the judgment of God. Open your mouth and pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wherever they kept in your papa house, they say you cannot marry on time. You will not born on time. You will not succeed on time. Wherever they kept it, that you cannot get your document. You cannot succeed in that country. Pray. Let that thing break. Whatever that say you will not last, that they are yabba Maybe they have entered your health. Male de 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 de. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, see that. Let me conclude with this scripture. Tomorrow I continue from the, where I stopped. In Esther chapter 9, verse 22. Anointing of the Lord pass me no by, penetrating my life. 
I'm breaking Bind the bind the ball. Cast the cast the ball. Out of my life. Anointing of the Lord. Pass me not by. Hear me. That matter may be tough. But hear me. There are men God gave key to open doors. He's not a physical key. He's a spiritual key. And that key is prayer. I remember that church I visited last year. One of the Eastern states. When I read there, the pastor cried to me. It's in the second day of the prayer program. He said, we have seen the kind of grace that follow you come. He said, we decided to cry to you. I said, which cry? I wanted to preach. They almost for me to preach. Oh. I came late. It's like even the choir have started singing. He took me to office here and the wife. He said, please. We don't know, but we have to tell you. God, we are led to tell you. We, they are driving us from here. And we don't have the money to pay for anywhere. I say, but yeah, you know the owner of here. He said, no, that leads. But the owner say, he no one leads again. They should find their way. And he have given them quick notice. And the quick notice is fast approaching. What do you want to do? He said, we wanted to buy, but we don't get money. But we have seen grace that is higher than what we have seen. We want, I said, how many want to perform this miracle? And I said, okay, I will fly as the Lord led in my heart. Because I love whatever I want to preach, I preach. He said, no, they just want to tell me. I said, okay. I even look at the church. If you can't by the number of the church, say, no, begin to raise funds, may they buy the land. You know what? Because he told me that the land they saw was 70 million. One plot. That's the cheapest they could get there. So how you want to do it? 70 million. At most, let it be the ground floor like this. If I'm plus invitee, you know, when there's program. So when I climbed the pulpit, I after praying as I entered the pulpit, I heard God said, I will perform a miracle that will surprise you. I was looking, I said, God. And I prayed, I said, Lord. He said, watch. Just follow my instruction. Miracle will happen. And I called the man, I prayed for him. And I told him what God told me. He wrote me a piece of paper. He said, tell the pastor of this church I'll give him two plots of land. I tell you, my, my peer was there. I never talk of land. I never even call money. He said, I have two locations. They would go and choose tomorrow. Anyone? <laughs> now, this is where they say a plot is 70 million. And the man said, we'll give them two plots. When I, he, the man wrote his number, he said, he gave it to me, that the pastor should call him after service. So I have to hold that paper well in my Bible. When I finish, I say, oh God, the wife, enter, let's go back to your office. Let's finish the meeting we started before I start preaching. I say, oh God, read this in. He read this, he showed the wife, they fought for ground, began to cry. He said, I say, call the number. And he called the man, the man said, don't worry, tomorrow I'll be in the service. And I will show you the locations. You choose anyone you like. He said, but permit me on Tuesday, I will give you the document where I will sign the document and give you. The man, you know what the pastor said? He said, count me as one of your sons. <laughs> and the man did as I, as I left Tuesday of it, I called the man. He said, he has given them. They have confirmed everything. He has signed the document with his lawyer and transferred the land to them. Anakuziri chukwalu Hasim anakuziri chukwalu we Iyo ne me biye di ma Adi akuziri yolo Iyo kuru kore me Di ma Adi akuziri yolo After the service, that man that did that thing told me, he said He now introduced himself to me, he said He said, you don't know how I believe you The one that gave the land He said, you don't know how I believe you He said, I don't follow men of God he said, but if you see where I watch you, I can spend 10 hours for all your service beginning to the end because of the, the way I love your ministry. As I was thank him. He said, no, if he made you happy as my pastor, he said, I'm also fulfilled. And he happened to be one of the most richest men in that city. The man, the, man, the, the pastor, they shared tears. He said, we don't think how one carry load to go house. There is somebody under 
the sound of my voice. That's how God will turn your case around. If I hear your amen, it will happen. Sit down. Last two weeks, around Wednesday, one of our sisters here, the son called me, who had been looking for admission for abroad. He put for visa, and the thing was delayed. So the young man called me. He said, you are my prophet. You are my pastor. I just sent you an offering. Now, tell God the time is going. Because he said the school is already resuming. Whether it's August or September. I think this August. He saw other people who put application. They, they have answered them, but my own, no response. He's like, some of them have already gone. And I said, okay, you fast from that Wednesday, Thursday, no, from Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, two weeks ago. Tell God that it will not pass another one week. So if you finish call me, that Saturday he called me, we prayed. I said, Lord, from now to Friday next week, which was this past Friday, who won the result, and it must be positive. Guess what? Thursday morning. Thursday morning. I think I was coming this way. And I got a message that the people said, your document is set. And you have been granted the resident. You are looking <laughs> Because when I was praying, God told me by between Tuesday and Wednesday of that last week that they are going to decide over that matter. And that's who said that paper was granted between that Tuesday and Wednesday because they sent the message early morning on Thursday morning. And say, your document is ready. And the boy is set to go. Switch your two hands. Whatever blessing hanging on the air. Who oh, I'm talking to, so am I talking to anybody here? Any two have been waiting for, waiting for, you go so happy, you go see happen. Whether that your document, whether that, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, as you turn that amen five times, I release it back to you. Sit down. Look at that scripture. Let's read. Then I, I start praying now. He said, and as the days we are in, the Jew, Jews, rested from their enemies. Every enemy tormenting you and your family. Stretch your right hand. Receive grace to conquer them. No, this one is strong. Those, whether an native daughter today your papa house, don't fear them. Do you hear what I said? If they be native daughter, God have anointed you as a priest. Stretch your hand. Whoever tormenting your family, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Receive grace to conquer them. I don't care to know the level of their, their occultism. I don't care to know the level of their juju. I don't care to know what they believe or what they put on. Today, it shall not stand, neither will it come to pass. They will no longer rule over you. They will no longer rule over your mother's children. Whatever they have used to cover you, let it be broken. Somebody give me a turn around fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch this. Stand up. Let me say this before you sit down. Stand. Put it back. And the, as the days we are in, the Jews rested from their enemies. And the mud which was torn unto them from sorrow. Now this month, may God turn all your sorrow into joy. From that month, it was a particular mood. It was a particular mood. I am speaking to somebody. This eighth month is that month. This eighth month is your own month. God will turn every sorrow in your life into laughter, into testimony. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Sit down. Put it back. And from morning into good day that they should make them days of feasting and joy and of sending portion one to another and gifts to the poor. Stretch your hand and pray. Receive grace to conquer that battle. Sit down. 
I remember one sister one day who came to me. He knows in, in one of the biggest government hospitals here. She came to me and said, he said, because that I saw her, I said, you know, go walk. He said, I took off. I supposed to be on duty. He said, I want to see you. I said, but you can, you do call me on phone. He said, no, before matter. He said, this one, I want to see you when you are talking to me. <laughs> he said, tell your God I don't tire. I said, if you tire, nothing happens. The issue was issue of marriage. Now, whatever that is delaying your hand at this junction as you pray this prayer, may your delay end today. She told me that her brother, all her sisters have married. And only she remain. Most time when they call anything for family, that at times she find it difficult to go. All of them will come with their husband. And only she they come alone. And I she be senior. And I asked her, okay, why are you never marry? He said, nobody, they come at all. Not even say anybody come. May you make choice. Nobody, they come at all. He said, tell God. He said, I don't pray for mercy. Pray for mercy, tire. He said, I don't know why my life is like this. So while she was talking, the Lord told me that somebody covered her. You know when you use something, cover person face. He said, you know who they did there. If you don't know, you can only see the person stand there, but you cannot notice the picture. I told her, I said, somebody cover you. And that's why nobody is. He said, for more than 13 years. I say, he said, nobody. He said, some people, they say, somebody came. Uh, at least I know like. He said, nobody. Uh, he said, look at me. He said, very soon. Whether he said 44, I'll be 46. I think that 44. 44, sorry. He said, he said, I'm not happy at all. I said, okay, you pray that prayer. Tell God, whatever they have used to cover you, that those who are supposed to notice you, who not notice you, let the Lord break that chain. And after that prayer, put it in. So after when she finished the prayer, she taught me something that really touched me. He said, I have been given to God. And I believe in giving. He said, but I decided to use one, my one month salary to place. He said, there's nothing better than that I could do in my life. He said, I never remove a dime out of it. If that will release me, Lord, please, I'm tired. She, I see the touch, they cry. So I pray with her. Three weeks later, I saw her in counseling. Because I told her, I said, let's work for like, either three months or six months I gave her. We agreed after she came back. Three weeks, I saw her. I said, why are you here? Either two weeks or three weeks later, she came back to cancel it. You know, go work again. He said, No, she's off that day. He said, I said, But okay, when she was talking, that is a married matter. I almost want to ask her, I said, But the time we put never finish. He said, No, she wants to explain something to me that after that prayer, that one night she just came back from work, she picked up. The man said, You are so so person. So so person. He said, Yes. He said, Somebody introduced you to me. And the man began to approach her for marriage. I said, hey, it's a miracle now. The woman, the sister said, no. He said, I'm matured, I'm big enough. How can you call a woman you don't know today? He had proposed. And he said, the question I expected him to ask me, he never asked. I said, eh. he said, yes. He said, I doubt that young man. But I just said, let me discuss with you. I said, play along first. If you don't ask you, you ask him. He said, but my pastor. I said, where is the person calling? He said, from Canada. He said, I have been expecting to ask me. I said, but do you know him? He said, I don't know him before. If I know him before, it would have been a different thing. He said, I don't know him. But he said, he's from this state. And he said, did he say no? He said, no. He said, but somebody introduced her to you too. He said, that's what he said. He said, will you marry me? He said, no, be like that. He said, every day they call. He said, he say yes. He said, and so they say yes. He said, I expected him to ask me at least my age because we can't see each other or demand my pictures. He never do. All he said, say yes, say yes. Say yes for what? <laughs> now, I said, why can't they do guy? He, was say, he said, no, my pastor, I'm matured enough to know what. That's <laughs> okay. I don't want to discourage you. That's okay. If he didn't ask you, you ask him. And get back to me. So after one week, he came back again and said, he asked the man, 
the man said he's 41. And he said he's 40. And he said he not told him, said, I am 44. He the late man say, he said, age doesn't matter. He said, he'll make you say yes first. Hmm. He said, Pastor, this boy, this young man is on you. 41 and 44. <laughs> and, I, and I asked, okay, what are the pictures on? He said, I was waiting for him. He didn't say, and I said, okay, I want your picture. Let me see your pictures. Show me your pictures. He, the young man said, it's not a problem. And he now said, he now promised him that he would send picture. He said, my pastor, he said, I never made any makeup to avoid embarrassment. I went to studio like that to capture myself natural. And I said, oh, you get what you get said. You know, say this makeup at times can create to Allah. Tomorrow go tell you, say, no, be who I see, now be this. <laughs> some of those makeup artists, some of them may not make heaven. I, and I tell you, some people may even see their wife, they go pass her. You go see one dog, baby, where they walk out like this. You go. He said she just did natural picture and sent to the man. The man said, hey, he said the man called him and said, the moment I saw your picture, he said, I become more crazy about you. He said, my pastor, I'm sure, talk to God, confirm whether this man genuine. He said, because I don't want another heartbreak. I said, okay, where did you end? He said, the man said, if he say yes, he will buy a ticket, come down. I said, you say yes now. That one hard. He said, I should say yes. I said, say yes. That's what we prayed for. He said, I don't want the disappointment. I said, there's no harm in trial. Who never did try, they go. You know the tire. So the young man bought a ticket and told her. So she also came to me and said, the, the man said, she should come and wait for him in Lagos. And this is the man he never knew. So what he now did was, you know, have to have a whole picture. He, that's what they normally do at the entrance of arrival. If you are waiting for the man, you don't know. You hold his picture so that he will know who he's looking for. He says, the man cited his picture in her hand. The man knelt down in the arri uh, arrival hall. Oh, oh. He says, say yes, more. No, let me hear this. Yeah. I tell the man, said, no be abroad today. Oh. Now Nigeria, no insult me here. No be this one now, where they call the door for airport now. He said the man, he told the man, say yes, I said yes before. The man was happy. And guess what? He never knew that that man was a child, a serious child of God. Number two, he never knew that the man was highly blessed and he came from a wealthy home. Young girls, hear me? Any man who want marry, they tell you what you get. He's poor. Now broke. Real men who are blessed, they don't want to entice any woman with their wealth. Because they are looking for real love. But the one where they can't tell is, you know, say I get land for uh, so so place. And my papa, who asks you? How does one have manipulation? Just to tune your brain. And if you get small brain, shallow brain, your brain goes to scatter like popcorn. It was when the young man came back, he noticed he, he introduced himself well. And told him, say today I will take you to the family. He said, when they went to the family, the lady said she was ashamed. He was even afraid whether the family no go scatter the marriage. He said, but he was shocked. Everybody accepted her. He said, the young man said, he said, my mom here told me never marry a white woman. And he told me, the mama said, my daughter, thank you for agreeing to marry my son. We have been telling him. And it happened to be, the young man happened to be the last child of the family. Very big family. And he now called the lady and said, he said, because of marriage I came. I have six weeks and this marriage must complete. The young lady said, the man sits and called the other side. Hi, what do I say? Forget it. You don't say yes. You don't say yes. So the remaining thing in my hand today. Now, when they were planning, the lady came to me and said, he told him, okay, hence you are in a hurry. You have six weeks. Let's do small one. The man said, lie, lie. He said, I've been planning the week from this time. The day of the wedding. We couldn't wait there because the process was much. You have to go to family house. They went. Yeah. The sister told me the kind of people that attended the wedding. The reception, he called the, the planners and gave the money. He said, give me the best. The sister was like, this marriage, nobody had two, three weeks to plan this thing. 
The sister said she was all through sharing tears. Like me, my family, those who marry, they don't marry like this. I say my own delay. I never know it was the best. Ah. I'm telling you, she came back after the wedding. It's even the ring, that diamond. The young man said, I have money. I didn't want to tell you. He said, I'm not looking for who I will tie. He said, but I love your kind of person. You never bother what I get. I have. You never ask. I said, I have seen that woman. He, he, never, he never knows some girls. He, he, he just only look at like this. They beg, he said, brother, pay my school fees. <laughs> That's why you never see a real person. If they look, you see, say, it be like, say, you look like, say, you get 10,000. He go beg you for 5,000. Jesus beggar. A young one. And today, do you know what touched me? Not just that they married, the man returned. In less than one year, that woman moved. Got visa to Canada. As I'm talking to you, stretch your hand. That same miracle. May the Lord duplicate it for you. If I hear your aim and treat that it will happen in a hurry. Sit and give the Lord a big clap. She made a mob your my head. My name is Golila. She made a mob your my head.